The government is trying to cut gas consumption in their fuel choke city by encouraging residents to use alternative transportation. To inspire people to downsize to two wheels, they've come up with a program called Cycle Ride Sunday. Every Sunday from 8 till 2, they shut down the main road in Mexico City named Reforma to traffic so everyone can go out and have a great old time and ride their bike. So I got myself a bike and I'm going to go explore. Biking is a fantastic way to see a city. It's great exercise and you get to explore at your own pace. Since the program began, thousands have taken to the streets on bikes, skates and scooters. And everyone I meet seems to enjoy the traffic-free avenue, even the cops. Seems like a great idea to me. Mexico City has several parks that can offer you that much-deserved zen time. In the largest green space is Chapultepec Park. In pre-Hispanic times, all the drinking water for the city came from the springs in this park. These days, it's an urban oasis, a place to relax in the open air, spend an afternoon kayaking on the lake, or stroll the paths of the park. The more adventurous can hike to the top of Chapultepec Castle, a grand palace built on the highest point of the park in one of the best places to view the city. Bordering the park is one of the best museums in the world, the National Museum of Anthropology. This world-class museum has several exhibition halls where you can learn about the origins of man and the history of Mesoamerica. The Sala Mexicana is dedicated to Aztec art and is the most popular hall. It includes the famous sunstone, also known as the Aztec calendar, and dozens of impressive ancient sculptures. perfect ending to a day spent walking around Mexico City is a night of free mariachi music. You'll find it at Plaza Garibaldi, not far from the Zocalo. Locals come here, drop a few pesos, and audition bands to hire for their parties. But no one minds if you just hang out and listen.